What a nice day. I got no students to worry about. No one to back talk me or give me attitude. Just nice and peaceful vibes here. So I can just drink my tea in peace. <sighs> this is so nice. Um, excuse me? Yes, how may I? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I see. Well, time for me to go then. Wait, oh my gosh, no, don't go. No, leave me alone. I don't want to see any people or help any students. Promise? Huh? What are you talking about? Try and remember. Okay, let me think really hard and try and remember real quick. Okay, one second. Mm. Oh, I remember now. No, I was just kidding. I don't know what you're talking about. Sar, I don't know what I promised you, but, you know, maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it was just some other guy. <sighs> okay. Well, if you're really sure that it's me, then what was it? What was the promise then? Oh, that thing. Uh, okay, so you actually finished, huh? Hmm, I don't believe it. Am I calling you a liar? Well, I'm not calling you a truther. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so, if you really did your project, then who'd you do it with? Prove it. Ah, Mr. Worldwide and Edmund, huh? Hmm, good candidates. You never saw that coming, though. Why? Well, I know both of them pretty well, but it doesn't matter. No, I'm not going to tell you. Anyway, so, who did you end up picking? What do you mean you don't know? Just pick one of the two. It's not that hard. You can't? What do you mean you can't? Just pick one. It's simple. You need to go on another date? I mean, if that's what you want, sure. But keep in mind that my deadline is by the end of today. So you better hurry up and go find your date. You already have an idea? Okay, all right, then go. Go get it done. Don't stand here wasting time. Let's go. Uh, yeah, you go, not me go. No me goes, just you go. I don't need to be your little chaperone on this date. Huh? I'm misunderstanding something? What do you mean? What am I messing up on? I'm supposed to go on a date with you? Now, when did that happen? Ugh, right. I did promise you to go once you left me alone and when you tried to finish your project. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of lazy right now. It's a nice day. I'm drinking my tea. It's tea time. Mm. What about you, Shadow? What do you think I should do? Hmm? Hmm? You tell me. Ah, yeah. Right. This is my dog. His name is Shadow. And he's a very good boy. Why don't I take him out more? I mean, I try to. He just... This damn dog. He gets too excited so fast. But it's such a nice day today, so I had to take him out. <sighs> yes, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, whatever. All right. A promise is a promise, and I keep them, so let's go on a date then. But, I gotta drop off Shadow first. No, 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 That's never happening. He definitely cannot come with us. Well, just trust me on this one, okay? I love this dog, but uh, he is way too damn chaotic. And it would just cause more harm than good. 
So it's just better for him to stay home. Ah, uh, come on. Really? Are you really going to do this? You can give me your saddest, pouty, puppy dog eyes all you want, but it's never going to work. You can see him again another time. Mm-hmm, you can. Pinky promise? Mm. <laughs> yeah, a pinky promise. Alrighty, it's time to go now. What are we gonna do? Come on, I can't tell you that. That would just ruin the date. Okay, yes, you got me. Yes, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but I'm gonna think about it on the way to drop him off. But for you, just for you, I know you cannot wear that. Definitely not. Why? Well, you're wearing sweats and a hoodie. I'd never allow that. So come on, you're going to go get changed too. Now, are you going to come along with me to drop Shadow off or not? All right, perfect. Let's go then. Where are we going? Well, we're just going to go to my car. Why? Dude, I just told you. We're going to drop Shadow off. Oh, you thought I was one of the professors that live on campus. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I prefer my own place. And it just seems weird to be a professor living on campus when you're almost the same age as the students. So, yeah. And you can stop calling me professor now. That's just a little weird throughout this date experience. Ugh, what did I just tell you? Gross. Quit calling me that before I fail you just for fun. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. And yes, we're almost there. My car is just over there. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is my car. Come on, after you. All right, Shadow, your turn. Get in. All right, time to go. Oh, you like the car? Thanks. I try my best to take care of it. What else do I do besides teaching? Well, I do a couple of other things. Like what? You'll find out. When? Well, maybe during the day. We'll see. What do you mean what's wrong with my car? There's nothing wrong with it. What makes you say that? <sighs> Don't worry me like that, girl. I thought something was actually wrong. <sighs> Damn, trying to stress me out for no reason. Okay, look, there's nothing wrong. That's just how the car drives. Well, yeah, my car is a stick car. That's just how it looks and how it drives. Do you know how this works? All right, so I don't have automatic gears like park, reverse, drive, whatever, like you have. I have different gears and shifts. So I go from one to six, and some cars just stop at five, but I go to six. I mean, it sounds complicated, but it's really not. It's pretty easy, actually. Anyway, yeah, those are my gears, and yes, I do have three pedals. What? <laughs> no, I don't need an extra foot to drive this. I don't use all the pedals at once. Just whenever I need to. You want me to teach you? Um, maybe. But first, do you even know how to drive? Hey, now. No need to give me attitude. I was just checking. Jeez. I just didn't know if you knew how or not. Why? Well, I mean, I don't know. You just look a little spoiled. Ah, so you're not spoiled and sheltered, huh? Okay, I guess not then. I apologize for assuming. Anyway, do me a favor and connect my phone to the Bluetooth. What? You want the aux? 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know what your music tastes are like. You might end up playing some country or whatever. <sighs> yeah, yeah, okay, whatever you say. Just connect to mine already. I'll play something. Yeah, okay. You can roast me all you want. But my music taste, I like them. And I think they're pretty good. Other people like them too. But, And you know what? You're probably going to like it. So we'll see. But yeah, I'll play my mixtape from SoundCloud for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now let's see what I'm in the mood for. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll play this. Walls of insincerity Shifting eyes and vacancy Vanished when I saw your face All I can say is it was Enchanting to meet you You a Swifty? Mmm, okay, I see you, I see you Okay, how about this? The way you saw me from parts You suck, you did Mm, yeah, I love this song so much too. What the hell? Are you crying? Well, I didn't know you loved it that much. Jeez. All right, we're here. So, do you want to wait here or come inside? Okay, all right, come on then. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. I actually like living here a lot. It's way better than the dorms. Yeah, I live on the 10th floor, and I could have gotten a lower one, but I don't know. I just prefer having a nice view in the morning. I guess I'm extra. Oh, well. All right, and here we are. All right, boy, get in there. Don't break anything and be good, okay? All right, now it's your turn. What do you mean for what? For you to go home. Come on, fathead. Use that brain of yours. I gotta take you home so you can change. Remember? Ah, uh, someone's late to the party, I guess. <sighs> anyway, come on, let's go. You better hurry. Why? Well, for our date, obviously. We got plans and stuff. Mm-hmm, yes. I already thought of a plan, so we're gonna go do it. No, I'm not gonna tell you. That'll just ruin the surprise, obviously. Anyway, come on, let's go. What the hell? This is your place? What? You're joking. Are you serious? Wow. This is a fucking mansion. This is huge. Huh? Not that big, you said? Wow. I take that back. You really are spoiled. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. I'm definitely not going to believe that now. Just, uh, just embrace it at this point. You got money, you're spoiled, whatever. Mm-hmm, okay, whatever lie you want to sell yourself. Whatever makes your boat float, whatever. Now, anyway, go get dressed, and I'll wait out here. Come in, why? A house tour? Huh? Man, we ain't got time for that. We can save that for another time. I'm sorry, excuse me? You said you have a piano? Oh, okay. Um, You know what? On a second thought, we do have time for a house tour. Please, show me. Oh my goodness. This house is so decorated. It looks like a freaking castle in here. No, you have an all-white grand piano? Oh, that's so beautiful, I can cry. Mm, that's so pretty. Do I know how to play? Of course I do. You want me to play you something? <laughs> okay, I'll play you something. Let's see if you know this song.
What do you think? You like it? Good. I'm glad you did. Let's see. What time is it? Oh, crap. Okay. We're really going to be late. Okay. Let's go. You got to go find an outfit. What should you wear? Hmm. Put on a dress. Yeah, a dress. Nothing too fancy, but a little simple outfit. You got options. Okay, let me see them. Hmm. I like that one, but I like that too. But this one here, this one compliments you better. What does it compliment? Well, that dress right here in your right hand, it compliments your hair, your eyes, and your skin a lot better than the rest. And it just, I don't know, it just makes you even prettier. Do I think you're pretty? Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you that you're ugly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yes, you're lovely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, you're lovely. Now, please, go get dressed and we can go. Oh my goodness, the more I walk, this house just looks like a museum. <sighs> I wonder what her family does for a living. I wonder if they want a son. Oh, you're done? Okay, finally, come out then. Whoa. <whistles> you look great. Someone's gorgeous over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do mean it. You look lovely. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Now, let's go. Because we have to go on the perfect date that I planned. Ugh, someone's impatient. I told you, I'm not going to tell you. So let's just go and have fun and then experience this together. And don't worry, you'll see. And it'll be amazing. So come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, I love this place. Huh? Wait, really? You've been here before? Oh, phew. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. This place was new, so I was like, there's no way you've been here. But I didn't know that you liked flower gardens this much. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I know you're excited, so come on, let's go. Let's get in. Ooh, I like that right there. Okay, I want you to go over there for me. Shh, just do it, okay? There we go. I got a nice picture of you. You look really good here. Yeah, mm-hmm. I brought a Polaroid camera with me because I figured you would want to take pics, so I brought my camera. Of course, take pics to make memories. Now, come on. We got more places to see, so let's keep going. Damn, we really took a lot of pictures. <laughs> the film's almost gone. Mm-hmm, yeah. The sun is gonna set soon. So, are you ready for the next spot? Okay, good. You'll see what it is, and I think you'll love it. And it's probably nothing that you've ever experienced before. Whoa, come on. I'm just talking a big game because I know it's true. I know that no one has ever done this for you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, come on, let's go. All right, keep walking, but close your eyes. Uh, no, no peeking. Close your eyes, keep going. All right, now you can open them. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's a lake. But it's not just that. There's a boat right there, and we're going to get on it and go. Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm serious. We're just going to go and sail into the lake. And then just go down and just have fun and chill. You're not scared, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, come on. Take my hand so you don't fall in the water when you get in. All right, good. Now, let's go. 
What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm rowing the boat. Why am I standing to row the boat like this off the edge? Well, I mean, haven't you seen those romance movies where the guy rows from the edge, like in Italy? <sighs> yeah, that's what we're doing here. But don't worry, I won't fall in the water. And if I do, then I'll just pull you with me. Oh yeah, 100% I'm going to do that. No question about it. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. What? You can't swim? Really? Well, damn, that's crazy. Well, if you don't know how to swim, then I guess it's time to learn. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, are you ready for the surprise? Okay, good. Now turn around and watch the sunset. Yeah, you like it? Good, I'm glad you do. Now turn around and look back at me. Ooh, someone looks surprised. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. I got this guitar from underneath here. And why was there a guitar there? Well, my friend, he actually runs this lake boat service. So I just texted him and then planned it out on the way here. Mm-hmm, yeah, just did all of that without you noticing. But yeah, so... Let's watch the sunset together, and then I'll play you a song while we do that. While we just chill and float away. Someone's smiling hard. <laughs> Are you blushing over there? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm glad you're enjoying everything. So, was this a good experience for you? 
good. I'm glad you had fun. And I'm glad that I was able to share this with you and make some good memories. Now, I guess you just got to pick which dates you want now for your special one. Who do I want you to pick? Well, honey, I just want you to finish the project. But pick whoever you think will treat you right. And you can also treat right. And whoever will be good for you. Because you deserve it. You deserve the world. Okay? No, I'm being serious. Of course, I just want the best for you. You're a pretty girl. And you're smart. You deserve what's best for you. Okay? Of course I mean it. Now come on. Let's chill. And then watch the sunset together, okay? <laughs> Good. And yes, it was a lot of fun experiencing this with you too.